Just avoid the question that you can't miss. I'd like to answer that by saying this. Never say yes, never say no. Always give a thoughtful equivocation. Tell it like you want to tell it sweet and low. But never say yes to say no. Erase those words from your vocabulary. Be sure they don't exist. Simple, evasive answer. Tell it like you want to tell it sweet and low. But never say, never say, never say, never say, never say yes or no. If you go into politics and get yourself elected as a servant of the people, well, now listen. You can make all the promises that you want to make. You can take all the junkets that you want to take. You can help your friends to a piece of the pie, you can feather your nest. You can get by with almost anything. Like not being there when the boat is taken. Or never ever being there at all. Or having two jobs and getting paid for three. Actually, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you keep saying you aren't doing it. But if you want to stay elected, don't want to be rejected There is just one thing that's important to you Just one thing you never, ever, ever, ever do Never say yes, never say no Always be directly non-committal Just avoid the question but be sincere I'd like to make this one thing very clear Never say yes, never say no Stand your ground and straddle every issue Tell it like you want to tell it sweet and low But never say yes or say no Don't be a pro or con on any question You'll only lose some blood Just be sure you wait to speak your mind Mistaken when the latest polls are drinking. Never say yes, never say no. Always give a simple, evasive answer. Tell it like you want to tell it, take it slow. Tell it like you want to tell it, apropos. Tell it like you want to tell it, sweet and low. Never say, never say, never say yes or no. Special sauce, two juicy all beef patties on a triple deck sesame seed bun. When you're really hungry, ask for the Big Mac.
That's right. Another thing this generation has been raised with that made them brighter and smarter is the jet. Joe Namath has made us brighter and smarter? <laughs> when you were a kid, could you watch three different football games on New Year's Day and still have the Super Bowl left to go? Our football team took a trip once. Took them 55 minutes flying time and three hours to get to the airport. <laughs> Jets, of course, mean travel. And that's what kids do today. Like no other generation before them, they get around. And when you travel, you learn about things. As long 
as you're anywhere in London. History touches you, history touches you. Going home, going home. Now there was so much to tell when I get home. I stood by the Berlin Wall. Sunday, I could see people wave, I could see people wave, nobody to see at all. On Monday, it was still as a grave, it was still as a grave. How will I feel when I get home?